chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again let us take up solved questions on similarity these are questions 11 to 15 the previous questions from 1 to 10 please refer the previous videos these questions have been taken from the previous year's question papers so these are the questions that we are taking in the present video let us start with them one by one Here he says suppose triangle ABC be right angled triangle where angle A is 90 degrees and AD is perpendicular to BC let us first of all draw a diagram this is a right angled triangle at a right angle at a and ad is perpendicular to bc so bc is this side and ad perpendicular will be something like this this point we can mark as d now before i proceed with anything else i will tell you that this triangle with this perpendicular is a set of three similar triangles as we have done in our previous videos so one similar triangle is acd the second similar triangle is abd and the third similar triangle is the bigger triangle in these cases it is often better to start by marking this angle as alpha this angle as theta so once you mark these as alpha and theta then come to the smaller triangle and you will observe that this angle should be alpha because this is a right angle triangle theta and alpha and if this was alpha and this was theta then for this smaller triangle this angle has to be alpha and similarly if we look at this smaller triangle then this part has to be theta so we have three similar triangles now let us try to read the next part of our question if area of triangle abc is 40 and area of triangle acd is 10 let us see what is abc abc is the bigger triangle and acd is the upper smaller triangle so we can see that the game will be between the bigger similar triangle and the smaller similar triangle their areas have been given so we can write area of abc to the area of acd we know from the area theorem of similarity that the ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of any two corresponding sides so let us first make a list of the corresponding sides for abc and acd then we will decide which corresponding sides will have to be put into this square this round brackets we'll start with the bigger triangle the side opposite to this 90 is bc so we will write bc opposite to 90 degrees by and in this smaller triangle the side opposite to 90 would be ac so we will write by ac and also write opposite 90 degrees this minimizes errors now come to the bigger triangle and let us pick angle theta this time theta has opposite ab so we will write which is equal to ab opposite theta now in this smaller triangle which side is opposite theta this is theta opposite is ad so we will write ad opposite theta which should be equal to 90 has come theta has come take alpha now 
alpha opposite side opposite to alpha in the bigger triangle is ac so we will write is equal to ac opposite alpha and divided by in this alpha opposite is dc so we will write dc opposite alpha so all the proportionalities are available to us this ratio can fit here this ratio can fit here this ratio can fit here by the area theorem of similar triangles so area of abcd to acd will be equal to the square of this even to this and also to the square of this but which one fits here for this let us see the remaining part of the question this one here he says ac is 9 and give me bc let us see which ratio has ac and bc bc and ac are present in the first ratio so we don't have to go any further we will write bc by 9 whole square because ac is 9 so with this what it is equal to area of abc has been numerically given as 40 and area of acd has numerically been given as 10 so we'll write it is equal to 4 10 into 4 40 let us neatly write this bc by 9 whole square is equal to 4 take the square root of both the sides which implies bc by 9 is equal to square root of 4 is equal to 2 which implies bc is equal to 2 multiplied by 9 is equal to 18 cm is the answer so this whole question actually rests on this theorem the area theorem and once you are able to establish the correct ratio then the remaining is only mathematics we have to finally evaluate the value of bc and we arrived at 18 cm as the answer let us move to our next question now a straight line parallel to bc of triangle abc intersects ab and ac at p and q respectively first of all let us draw a diagram let this be a triangle abc a straight line parallel to bc of triangle abc intersects ab at ac at p and q respectively so we have to draw a straight line parallel to bc it intersects ab at p and ac at q okay if ap is equal to qc if ap is equal to qc let us just mark it as x and this also as x and pb is equal to 4 pb is this part which is equal to 4 and aq is equal to 9 that is this part is 9 and then the length of ap is we have to find out the length of this part so basically we have to find out the value of x now abc is a any triangle and we know from the basic proportionality theorem that if pq is parallel to bc we'll write if pq is parallel to bc then by basic proportionality proportionality theorem we must have ap to pb equal to aq to qc so visually we can see ap this part by the lower part should be equal to this part to the lower part let us not directly substitute ap will be put equal to x and pb will be put equal to 4 which will be equal to aq can be put equal to 9 and qc can be put equal to x which implies take x to the other side 4 to that side 
x into x is equal to 4 into 9, which implies x square is equal to 36, which implies x is equal to 6, because square of 6 is 36. So, 6 is the answer. So, whenever you have a parallel line parallel to the third side, you should immediately think of the basic proportionality theorem and roads will always open up. Let us move to our next question now.